What's really good, people? We are back with another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, and today I'm gonna be showing you just how trash this game really is. <laughs> this battle's pretty short, uh, it's pretty stupid, and I don't know who gave me this team, but this team is just, I don't know, your Pheromosa doesn't make any sense, dude. It, it has max HP, but it has a Focus Sash. Like, what is the purpose of that exactly? Like, what? exactly am i missing like i'm so confused if you're gonna run max hp you don't need to focus like it, it defeats the purpose of the hp evs it totally doesn't make any i'm just you know what we'll get to that part when we get to it okay anyways <laughs> i'm going to lead off with my necrozma <laughs> i love saying his name like that and he's gonna lead off with his Golisopod. go for the first impression i'm gonna take the hit and go straight for the stealth box. I actually have no defense on this Necrozma at all. It's just max HP, max special attack. Uh, so maybe I should have just gone straight for the side shot. I don't. I didn't think it would do much, which is why I didn't go for it. Uh, but either way, I'm actually gonna switch out uh, just to take you know the incoming hit. Assumed he was gonna go for the Leech Life, and he actually does. As I bring in my Tabu Fini, Tabu Fini can definitely take a Leech Life because fair resist bug. Um, but this battle, dude, <laughs> it just pissed me off. This game, man. You guys haven't even seen anything yet. I'm already just angry. But anyways, he's going to go for the Leech Life. Not going to do too much to my Tabu Fini. Now, I'm predicting his Muck to come out. And I need to catch his Muck. Because if you guys saw my team, my team pretty much gets ran through by Muck. And you, I know what you're thinking. You have a Feromosa. You have strong Bug-type stab moves that are that hit on the physical side to do damage to that, uh, to that Alolan Muck. Maybe even high jump kick. No. No. It doesn't have any of that. <laughs> So what I need to do, because my Feromosa is lacking in the physical attack department, I need to try to set up my Minior to, uh, you know, get up a Shell Smash and maybe Earthquake that thing and take it out of here. Uh, but he actually switches to Tapu Koko, which was, you know, that wasn't a bad switch considering I did have my Tapu Fini out. He could have easily taken any hit that I got that I went for and, um, you know, killed me back with a Thunderbolt. Uh, so I'm going to be forced to switch here. I'm just going to go ahead and let my Slim Jimmy, <laughs> Slim Jimmy, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let him die. Um, just to, you know, take off the pressure, something had to go. Something was going to take a chunk from that Volt Switch either way. Uh, and I also get the Swish initiative uh, by seeing what he's going to go out to first. And he actually ends up going out to his Mandibuzz. So I'm like, okay. Uh, I, I calc how much foul play would do to me after the Shell Smash. And it seemed like I could definitely take one. So I went out to my uh, Minior right away just to see if I could, you know, set up, maybe do some damage to some Pokemon here. Uh, and I am indeed going to go straight for the Shell Smash just to see, uh, you know, if I could tank the hit from the uh, Mandibuzz and then kill him back with a Stone Edge. But <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking at all. He actually ended up going for the Taunt. I'm not quite sure if he thought he was going to be faster than me. He probably did. I don't know if he has Speed EVs on that Mandibuzz. I don't know what he was thinking if he didn't have Speed EVs on that Mandibuzz. But either way, he definitely went for the Taunt. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. That's perfectly fine because I was going to attack next turn anyways. I don't even need to get angry. If you taunt, you like, same end result either way. Like, you can taunt all you want, bro. Like, it's fine. Like, I'm going to go for the Stone Edge. And oh my god, we have made history, people. I've actually seen what the Stone Edge animation looks like on the other side of the field. It is crazy. That was my first time actually hitting a Stone Edge in the history of Pokemon Sun and Moon. I feel so accomplished. Congratulations to me. I finally hit a Stone Edge. It's incredible. That was my first time ever seeing Stone Edge on the other side of the field, man. It's, it's, just, it's just a wonderful feeling to finally hit my first Stone Edge. Oh my god. It says it has 80 accuracy, but it really has 30 accuracy. Like, it's crazy that I was finally able to hit one. I just feel so good inside. Anyways, <laughs> I, I really always miss Stone Edge. Like, you don't understand. That's why I'm so happy that I actually hit that one. Anyways, let's get back on track. I take out his Glycopod with an Acrobatics, and I was ho actually hoping that he went for the Aqua Jet because I knew I'd be able to take it. And he actually knocked me right into the range of, you know, Shields now. So I'm like, yo, I can probably sweep his entire team now with Minior, right? Wrong, because the game is just straight up trash. Are you serious, dude? He used Shadow Sneak and Poison me, which means that after I take out his Muck, which was definitely a big problem to my team, by the way, he's going to be able to kill me off with the poison damage. Like, seriously, dude? There's just no way, man. I... <laughs> I was literally poised to sweep his entire team. I was in the position. I, I outplayed him. I set up my, my hazards. I went for the shell smash. Focus ashes were gone because of the hazards. 
I literally was in the position to sweep his entire team and then I got poisoned by Poison Touch. Now it is a 30% chance, which is pretty high, but still, that was extremely lucky on his part. But I still do have a chance to win. I had the Feramosa, which just doesn't make any sense, by the way, <laughs> but whatever. I'm gonna go out to my Turtonator. Turtonator was actually supposed to be the star of the show in this battle. This particular Turtonator actually has an Assault Vest, which is why it didn't take much damage from the Life Orb Tapu Koko. Not quite sure how I feel about this Pokemon, though. It seems like most of the time I bring it, it just doesn't do anything. Uh, it can wall things like, um, you know, like Kartana, maybe Scizor, uh, Tapu Bulu as well. Um, but other than those three Pokemon, I'm not quite sure why you would ever bring a Turtonator on your team. It's not really that useful as a special attacker. I think a wall Turtonator would probably be your best bet. Because uh, it does have a very, very extremely high defense stat. Uh, but either way, he's going to go out to his Nihiligo, go for the uh, Power Gem and take me out and get the Beast Boost. Now, at this point, I'm like, what the hell do I do? See, now this, this is where this doesn't make any sense. Look at my HP stat, right? So I have max HP. And I believe I have max special attack on this Feramosa because for some reason, whoever made this team decided it'd be a great idea to run a Quiver Dance Feramosa with max HP and a Focus Ash. Like, literally, you literally threw 252 EVs out of the window if you're just going to put a Focus Ash on the Feramosa anyway. It makes absolutely no sense to have 252 HP EVs just to use a focus sash anyways like you might as well put those evs in speed or defense anywhere else literally anywhere else like it doesn't make any sense not only that but because this is not the standard feramosa which would have been 10 times better in this situation by the way <laughs> um i was, was not able to do much to nia legal because nia legal has a massive special defense stat so i pretty much had to hit it with my strongest move in hopes that i'd be able to take it out with a sucker punch from Decidueye, but to my dismay, I don't take it out with the sucker punch, and not only that, he poisons me again! I lived the sludge wave! That would have been perfect, because his last two Pokemon are Nihiligo and Gengar, so I would have been able to take out the Nihiligo next turn with another sucker punch, and then potentially take out the Gengar with another sucker punch. But he poisoned me, man! He poisoned me twice! 10% chance on that one. That was only 10% chance. Poisoned me, I'm the, and I'm now I just lose the match because I'm going to die to a sludge wave. Like, what? This game is trash. <laughs> it's part of the game. Hacks is part of the game. But he definitely got really lucky there because, first of all, he just straight up lost to Minion. And then he got the poison touch. 30% chance. So that's not that big of a deal. That was bound to happen. But the 10% chance from the Sludge Wave after barely living the Sucker Punch, man. Like, wh what can I do about any of that? Like, damn it. And then the Trash Pheromosa, that Pheromosa said is trash. Get that thing out of here. <laughs> okay, so from now on, when I use your guys' teams, definitely going to make some revisions. Because that definitely would not have flown. I literally just copy and pasted it into my game. But from now on, I'm definitely checking what I'm using because you're not about to send me a max HP Focus Sash Feramosa that literally makes no sense whatsoever, okay? So that's not happening, that's not happening again, okay? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, send your teams to hashtag teams for show food. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another Wi-Fi battle. Hopefully I can get some, uh, you know, really good teams um, to try from you guys. I really like, uh, I really like using your teams because it, it's just, a cool feeling, you know, I'm using one of my viewers teams, uh, hopefully trying to do it justice. Um, and it motivates me to do as well as possible in these battles, but I can't do well if I have things like max HP focus Sash Feramosa using Quiver Dance. All right, damn it. <laughs>